All right, we're gonna take a little ride here in a 1970 Barracuda convertible. These are cool cars. You don't see a whole lot of them around. This one's uh, finished in the original lemon twist yellow. This is a smaller motor for a Barracuda. It's got the 318 in it. Uh, it's been rebuilt though, it runs good. It's got a four barrel carburetor upgrade. Um, it's got an automatic transmission, three speed automatic. It's other than that, it's all stocks. It's got, does have air conditioning, factory air, power steering. Uh, still got the drum brakes, but they seem to work real good. It's got old school Kragers on it. A uh, previous owner had this car for 28 years. Put 8,000 miles on it in those 28 years, which is crazy. Uh, it's the original uh, mileage on this thing. I think it's got 102,000 original miles. But pretty cool. Interior is nice. It looks like you had the front seats redone. Um, but overall, the dash is decent. The top is old. It's the original convertible top. It's frayed around the back window. Probably could use the top at some point. But yeah, it works. Power. That thing runs good, man. Got some BF Goodrich GA radials. Um, all factory gauges. There's the original radio in the dash there. So kind of stock. And it's like a canvas. I mean, if you wanted to turn this thing into like a Hemi Cuda convertible or even put a 440 in it or an LCAM motor, or you can do nothing. Just kind of keep it the way it is and drive it. It's got a lot of, a lot of style and uh, brings back memories for a lot of people when they see this car on the road. Uh, we'll come up here and take some more pictures of it. All right, check out this 1970 Plymouth Barracuda. Finished in uh, Lemon Twist Yellow, it's the original color. Same owner for the last 28 years, a two owner car. Uh, small motor, 318 automatic, three speed automatic with a slapstick shifter. Um, it's got some 15 inch Kragers on there, pretty cool looking. A little personal plate there, 70 for fun. But nice original old car, that top is original on this car. I didn't even know, uh, I learned something new too. These uh, convertible tops on these Mopars had more of a smooth vinyl finish. Not like some of the other uh, 60s muscle cars. But 1970 is the year. Everything was good in 1970 for all, for all cars, all muscle cars. But even though it's got a 318, it's got a four barrel on it, Edelbrock intake. Uh, it's got an added sway bar up front. It runs really strong. You know, it's only got a few thousand miles on the motor. I've got the original build sheet on this car that was in the seat. And, uh, and some records and receipts when the motor was done. Transmission was upgraded. Um, still a three-speed automatic, but it's a 72-year model one. It works real good. It was rebuilt as well. Here's the interior. It's got the black vinyl buckets. Door panels are in good shape. Dash is pretty nice too. A couple little bubbles over there, but not bad. Original steering wheel, original gauges, power top, original radio. There's that slapstick shifter. Pretty cool, man. Nice car, great history. Records, manuals, all the stuff you want when you get a car this old, and this is a California car. Pretty uh, overall good condition, and um, you know, paint's very old, but it still shines up, looks pretty good. Here's the power plant in the 70 Barracuda. That's another thing, in uh, 1970 there's a Barracuda and a Barracuda. This is the Barracuda. Kind of similar looking though. There's the original buck tag, tells you all the options that it has. Like I said, I have an option code sheet for it too. But uh, it's, I think it was a two barrel car originally. Now it's got a Edelbrock four barrel on there with an Edelbrock aluminum intake that's painted blue to match the motor. Uh, factory air conditioning. It's got a dual master cylinder for the drum brakes. Got power steering, steers pretty good. And some new, uh, looks like there's some new components underneath, little suspension components and that sort of thing. We'll go ahead and fire it up for you. All right, fire in the hole. It's funny, those Mopars got that little whine, that starter whine. You can always tell. Thing runs real good though. Nice and quiet, not a lot of miles on it. And that air conditioning's been updated to uh, the 134 Freon, so you don't have to like uh, lose an arm and a leg to go get your air charged. Walk around the back, that nice dual exhaust, it'll wrap. Sounds good. You know, she got a few bumps and bruises along the way. Uh, from what I can tell, this quarter panel here was replaced. And they did an okay job. In fact, these cars weren't that valuable when this stuff was done, so you just took it to the local shop and had it done. 
Overall though, great car. If you want to come see it in person, coming out to California Cars. We're at 2158 Union Place in the city of Simi Valley, California. And uh, phone number is 818-591-1313. And my name is Rich. I'd be happy to show you the car. Maybe take it for a spin. Thanks for watching.